In this episode of Jay's Real Reef, we're going to be fitting the Reef Bright XHO K15 light to this little Red Sea Max Dano, which already has the Radian G5 blue on there as well. So without further ado, I hope you're looking forward to this one. Let's roll those titles. Welcome back to the channel and Happy New Year 2023. And this little Red Sea Max Nano is getting its second lighting upgrade from its factory setting. So the originally is the Reef LED 50. I upgraded to the Radian Gen 5 Blue very early on in the story of this tank. Uh, but now we've got another upgrade, which is the Reef Bright XHO K15. And I'm super, super excited to get this one on the tank as well. Uh, it promises a lot. Colour of pop from the corals uh, is the main reason that I'm going for it. But I was torn between two options. So I was looking at the Gen 5 to Gen 6 upgrade kit, which currently stands at about £200, uh, which is offering more true V light, true V, true UV colour uh, for your corals and your colour. Uh, coloration of your corals as well. Uh, the Reef Bright actually comes in at £170 um, as you can see and it's also offering the same benefits. Uh, the spectrum goes from 500 nanometers down to 400 which is getting down to that true UV which all those reefers are chasing if you like the blues and the colour pop. So it's promising a lot Let's have a little look in the box and then get it fitted to this little Red Sea Max Nano. Right, let's get these unpacked. I am so excited to get these in and get them fitted. I've gone for the XHO K15, which goes with the Radeon XR15, which I assume is the link uh, there. Uh, you can also get other versions, the K30 version, which I assume goes with the XR30. Uh, but you can also get them to fit the AI lights and also your Kessel lights as well. So they just sit alongside those. Uh, let's have a little look then. And so here we've got our Reef Bright LED strips. They are very lightweight, nice little sleek design, bit of brand in there as well. And you've got the screw fittings on the end there. And then you've got your plug connector there that puts it into the power supply. And effectively, if I just kind of lay this, uh, that's how they will fit. I um, <laughs> don't know if you're getting that. Anyway, I'll show you the fitting, but they kind of fit into there. You've got your, your little uh, Phillips screws either end that just tighten it up. And then the radion will sit in the middle of the two brackets there. So they're really, really nice. We've got the obviously the standard power supply there, 240 volts. We've got the connector lead. Now, some of these have got dimmable switches uh, with six settings that you can program the intensity of your reef brights, but I've got uh, as a Yorkshireman, I must have gone for the cheaper version. Mine don't dim, so mine are either on or off. So I can put them on a smart plug with Wi-Fi connection, have them coming on at a certain time. Um, but when I when I have them on, I've just got to perhaps dial in the radian, uh, take it down a few few uh, bits on the intensity scale, so I don't over expose the corals. Standard UK plug. If you're buying these, I guess from anywhere else in the world you'll get the the right connection for you and then some m5 bolts phillips head which you use to connect your existing bracket to the radian so all this will stay the existing radian bracket and the connector and then the reef brights are going to sit on either end step one the nerve-wracking bit i'm going to take off the existing light the radion gem 5 from the tank. I'm going to leave the jump guard on, so in case anything falls forward, I am going to turn the light off. So stay tuned for this, let's have a go. Into the cupboard, uh, the lights, the light is off, the fish will wonder what the hell is going on now, and we're going to carefully just slide, hopefully this radion off and up. Now, oh, let's move it around this side. Uh, at the moment the cable is a little bit tight, so let's just try and free a little bit of cable. There we go. So we've managed to remove the uh, Radian light, I've pulled a bit of cable through, and here it is, the little Radian Gen 5 Blue, just sat there waiting patiently to be uh, to be worked on. It is, as I say, a bit filthy, uh, these lights, because the fans they just suck all the dust in, get a bit dirty and a bit grubby. We're going to undo the standard screws that come with the, the, the bracket 
So we'll undo those. Oops. <laughs> we'll just take those out there at each corner. And then that'll give us better access for cleaning as well. That's the idea. I hope this is making good telly, by the way. <laughs> so thanks for watching and tuning in. Right, this is the last one to, to come out. It's now starting to shift about a bit. Let me get my uh, GoPro onto the stand and then I'll uh, show you what's happening. Right, we're back. So now I've got two hands on the job because the GoPro is just on the stand. So there we have, that's the existing bracket. Just disconnected there. And then let's tip out the existing screws. And here we got there. Two, three, four, that's four screws. So yeah, that's the standard bracket that it comes with. I'm gonna keep that exactly the same place as where it was. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a clean up. So it's got like salt residue and deposits on it. Just give that a clean up. And also just clean up the, the Gen 5. I think I might get the hoover in there as well. Just give that a little hoover out. Whilst I'm doing this upgrade, I might as well just clean up the Radian. So a bit of cleaning. I don't think you wanna see this, but come back once it's nice and clean. Here we are, after a little bit of a clean, I uh, used the, the Fritz glass acrylic uh, cleaner, it's, it's aquarium safe, so it's the only thing I actually use around the aquarium, I don't want any uh, aerosols or things getting into the tank. So the bracket looks like new really, really happy with how that's come up. Um, I've always run the diffuser on this Radian, these are about 20, 20 pounds I, I believe, something like that. It just goes on, magnetic, clips onto the bottom of your Radian, there we go. And then you get the diffuser there, just so you don't get as many hot spots, and it just spreads that that light across your your corals, which is a little bit uh, a little bit better for your corals, I believe. And there's the Radion Gem Five Blue, a little bit cleaner. Give it a little bit of a Hoover inside. Yeah, it's come up pretty much like new. So I think it's time now to get the reef brights connected onto the Radion. Step two after the cleaning is to get the reef bright brackets fitted. Now I have noticed actually the M5 bolts that come with the little kit, I don't know if you just come out on video, but they're actually a little bit longer as you'd expect, because now it has to go through the new bracket as well as the existing bracket. So I've got my little boy in here to help me out whilst I do this. So he's gonna help me just hold the existing bracket in position. So that needs to be that way around. This is the front of the light. I want mine at the front and the back. So we're gonna put it around about there. So if we get them all lined up, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how interesting this is uh, to watch, but hopefully uh, you're still tuned in. Thanks if you're still watching, by the way, uh, because these do take a little bit of time just to get sorted out. So we're about to get those lined up. Right, can you hold that for me there? My handy assistant. Thank you very much, good. What we'll try and do then is just line up the bracket and the eye. It's always good if you've got some little reefers in your family that can just help you with a couple of little jobs like this. So we'll just see how this goes in. So these are the new screws that we're putting in there. Um, let's just get it lined up. So that's the first one. Are you excited to see how these look? Mm -hmm. Key thing is when you're, um, when you're screwing in these screws, just do not over tighten them. You don't want to damage your, your existing light. So just nip them up, but not too tight. So we're getting there, we've got one in. We'll do this other front corner over here now. So just line that up there. That one will go in. Once it's lined up, is it lined up? Should feel a little click in there. There we are, that one's lined up. As I say, just a little nip on the screwdriver, that will be that will be really good. So these are the, obviously the reef brights here are mounted at the same height as your existing lights. And that's really good because you get that nice even spread of light then. And it also reduces any, any hot spots for your corals. Uh, and any shadowing as well. If you've got any shadowing in your tank, either at the front or the sides or the back, this really does help to address uh, any shadowing that you might have. There. Um, get this last one in, and there we have it. So next, we're going to fit the reef brights to the end, and uh, yeah, see what that looks like. So there you have it. Some sort of 
monster contraption now. It looks like something out of Star Wars or something, but there you go. So the existing brackets, as you can see, they fit alongside your Radeon mounting bracket. And uh, that's, that's what it looks like so far. So it's now time to get the reef brights on either end. And they'll just screw in at the ends there. And they should look really nice. Super easy so far. But uh, this is reefing, so anything could happen. Stay tuned. <laughs> Step three or four, I'm not sure which one we're on now. We're going to connect them to the existing reef bright bracket that it comes with. So they kind of slot into there. And then we've got the little screws, just a little Phillips screw that goes in on the end. So I might just need to turn this actually a little bit, get my assistant on hand as well. Do you mind just holding that for me there? There we go, very good. So thanks for watching guys and girls, I really appreciate you watching us actually build the lights, uh, it kind of feels live here. What's your, um, what's your favourite fish in the tank then, would you say? Let's put that in there. What's your favourite fish in the reef so far that we've got? Um, probably um, our goby. The goby, yeah. So we nicknamed him as well, Obi-Wan the goby, didn't we? Yeah. Because we were a bit of a Star Wars fans. Oh, that's really nice. So obviously with the screwing at the end, look, you can actually tilt it so you can really adjust it, changing, you know, the, the angle of the light, also adjusting the power, which is really cool. So let's flip it over onto this side. Can you just hold that for me there? You are doing a brilliant job. So the goby's really your favourite fish, is he? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, oh, hopefully the microphone's not in the picture there. Let's, uh, so why the goby? What do you like because about? he's like quite interesting when he's out. He is, he's cool, isn't he's, he? Yeah. And he's got a friend, hasn't he? He's got the shrimp that he lives with. Yeah. So that's good. I don't know if we're on camera anymore here. Let's uh, yep. screw, screw that. Oops. So just putting the second screw in there. Hopefully you, you're getting to see a little bit of this. I've chosen to put the cables on the right hand side of the light just because that's nearest the wall. So again, for aesthetics, it's a little bit better. However tight you want that, just makes it really nice that you can then angle and tilt the light there, the, the reef led light, to reduce the shadowing or, or create a little bit of a hot spot. So there's the first one on. There we go, that's the first reef bright. Nice bit of branding on the front there as well. That is looking super cool. I love how they've designed it so it's uh, kind of a, obviously it's very sleek but also it fits in with the existing Radian. As I say, you can get them that fit the, the AIs and also the castles as well. Right, we're gonna fit this second one at the back and then we'll have a little look at getting them onto the tank. So we're getting the second light fitted in here, uh, just into that mount there. As I say, just a standard Phillips screwdriver, that's all I've used so far actually. So dead easy to fit, no special equipment. There we go. So I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side. Again, I've still got my handy assistant here, just to help me. As I say, it's added about two pounds of weight to the existing bracket, so we're, we're hoping that the, uh, the, the that it's not adding too much to the mount at the back, but it should be. It's all designed to fit and to be the right uh, weight and all sorts of things. So what's your favourite coral then? If the gobe is your favourite fish, what's the favourite coral? Oh, um, probably the zoa garden. The zoa gardens, yeah, we do like those at the front, don't we? Mm -hmm. What is it about the zoa gardens that you like? It's like, because when you have the light shining on them, like, they're really colourful. Yeah, hopefully these reef brights will even brighten them even more. So as you can see as well, just going back to what I said, I've put both the cables on the right hand side, because that's the side that's going to be nearest the wall, and again, less intrusive when we look at the tank. So now we've got, exciting, I'm just going to connect it up, but there we go. That is the uh, Radeon XR15 with both the reef brights attached at the front and back. And uh, now is the time to get them on the tank and get the wires plugged in. Oh, so excited for this next bit. Stay tuned, guys. I need to mention this. Because there isn't an app for the Reef Brights, I'm going to use a smart plug so that I can set the timings. This is a Google smart plug. Oh, no, it's not. It's a cheapo one. I thought it was a Google one, then. Uh, it's a little Wi-Fi wireless plug. That will go in the cabinet. We'll plug the Reef Brights into it. And then we can set the timer. I think I'm going to go from 12 till 8. So 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, the main photo period for the corals. That's when it'll come on. And we'll get it all dialed in. So onto the wiring and let's get it onto the tank. 
problem with having these uh, lights not on, you've seen how green the, the, the sand, it looks horrendous, doesn't it? Well, it'll all be different once the lights get back on. So, uh, I've widened the lights, now we're going to connect up both the lights just with these little plug and play adapters. So, we're going to plug these in. Seems pretty straightforward. Well, there, that's it. It goes, it actually clicks. There we go, it clicks in. Did you hear that? I don't know if you heard that on the video, but it clicked in there. Uh, then we then click it into the, the transformer, standard transformer by the looks of it. So that'll go into the transformer and then we'll start to then again wire it down the back. So I can't show you this bit, going around the back at the tank and wiring it up, but we'll get it all wired in. Uh, the next time you'll see it is uh, on the tank. So we've wired everything up into the cabinet and round the back. We've got a bit of cable management to do. Uh, in a little bit, but we're going to slot this now onto the back of the, the tank. At the moment the cable is just a little bit loose, but we can do some cable management after. So the moment of truth now, I am a little bit worried about this, hopefully it goes well. Everything else has gone well so far, fingers crossed. So we're just going to slide it back onto the existing bracket and then that in and there you have it I'll just take you off the stand so you can have a little closer look there we go so there we've got the reef brights on the front and the back I think I'm going to tilt those back ones actually a bit forward but there we go we could have put them side to side but I wanted this one at the front here that was the main aim so let's get them switched on get them dialed in to Mobius and reduce the intensity of our existing radian start to acclimate the corals to the new lighting yes so we're back for the big switch on everything's kind of tidied up a little bit i know i've got to do a bit more cable management there but it's in position and there we go i've tilted the reef right at the front a little bit and then we tilt the one at the back so in terms of my research they kick out between 70 and 100 par when you've got these dual setups. You can actually get quad setups as well. Would be a bit overkill on this little Red Sea Max Nano. This is just a dual setup, around about 70 to 100 par. I've done a little bit more research on from the BRS TV video as well. I put a link in the description for that video. And if you dial the intensity down on the radium by about 20%, that will take it down by about 100 par. Now the best thing to do is get a par meter and just make sure that your power is not bumped up too much. Um, what I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to underlight the reef rather than overlight it. You don't kill corals by underlighting them for uh, for short periods of time, but you can kill them if you overlight them. So we're going to go under. We're going to drop the intensity on the Mobius app by 25% on this schedule, and then the reef brights will kick in there, and that should be enough then just to acclimate the corals to the new light. And I'll just dial it up. I'll just dial it up a little bit over time. Just take my time with it, and then it should get the get the right settings that we want for some serious coral coral pop so we're going to switch the reef brights on now and then see if there's any major difference I might have to put the orange filter on uh, just to see because it's going to really get some UV into the tank so there they are the reef brights are on I oh, know they're not they're not on at the moment they're not on look so they're not on at the moment that's what they that's what the Radeon XR15 Gen 5 is doing so let me just switch it on to the reef brights and see if you can spot a difference so here's the reef brights so there you go, that's the reef brights on, as you can see there, that's on, off, on, off. So you can see how it just brings that blue in, brings that vibrancy, so that's it on, that's the reef brights on there, look at the gonies, they look incredible, and if you turn it off, there you go, it just dulls it down a little bit, um, and then put it back on, there you go, makes it super, super pop. So there's a difference in the contrast with on reef brights, there's the reef brights on and off. God, I am so happy with these, as you can probably tell. One last look at the reef bright K15s alongside the Radeon Gen 5. Yeah, really happy with that design, really sleek design. As I say, it limits the shadowing, spreads out a nice even par, but we've just got more of that true UV now, the low 
400 nanometers to get the maximum coral pop. So there you have it, Reef Bright fitted, and I think it took me around about 20 minutes. It, it was really helpful having my uh, little boy here, extra pair of hands for filming and fitting, but super, super impressed, easy to fit, 30 pound cheaper than the, uh, the G6 upgrade kit, and uh, it's getting some serious pop already. As I say, I did turn the intensity of my schedule on the Mobius app down by 20%, because that will then offset the extra 100 well, 70 to 100 par that those new reef brights are gonna kick out. I've programmed those on the smart plug. They will come on between 12 p.m. and 8 p.m., especially for that evening session when the radians go blue and the reef brights are in there. It's gonna look super nice. I will update you guys on the channel, so if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, you can see the journey of the reef brights, see how they get on, and I'll let you know uh, the impact on the corals as well in a later video. Uh, if you haven't checked us out on the live stream, uh, yes, we're a Friday night live streams. So that's 8 p.m. GMT time. Just check out the Fish Palace uh, YouTube channel channel, Mogs' Aquarium, uh, Bearded Reef and also occasionally the first one of the year is on Jay's Real Reef UK. There is a link in the description if you want to watch our live stream from last Friday, Lighthearted Reef in chat, just come and join us, we've got a really great community of people around us there and it's just a good night, to, well time to spend on your Friday. If you miss it, catch it up on a podcast as it were, uh, it's also really good fun. But thank you very much for watching, the greatest thing you can do for the video is give us a thumbs up, so hit that thumbs up uh, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. We are loving reefing here and see where it takes us. For now guys and girls, thank you for watching, you take care, bye bye.